Hey dear friends, welcome to my channel again. Uh, today I've got another news for you. We're gonna install the OWAP Zap. Zap which is actually the Z attack proxy. But if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment and to share. So we're gonna have a really exciting video. Be ready for that. First of all, what does OAP Zap do? OAP Zap, which is short for Z Attack Proxy, is an open source web application security scanner. When used as a proxy server, it allows the user to manipulate all the traffic that pass through it, including traffic using HTTPS. It can also run on a demo mode, which then control via REST IP. The question is that, is it OAP Zap free? Yeah, it's actually totally free because it's part of OAP's community. So basically, you can use it as a free tool. OAP Zap can actually detect so many vulnerability on your system. Zap can scan through the web application and detect issues related to SQL injection, broken authentication, sensitive data exposure, broken access control, or the top 10 OAPs uh, vulnerability. So basically, it's a very, very good tool for uh, cybersecurity professional. So I would suggest you to really grab it, download it, and follow exactly what I'm gonna show you how to install it on a Windows system. The first thing to do is you need to go to Google, find out exactly what you're gonna get the download version. So go to the OAP Zap Z attack link and you're gonna go to a lot of options you can see on Google. Go to the website. Once you're on the website, take your time again to wave around to understand what the tool can do for you. You can have the best definition which is the world most popular free web security tool actively maintained by a dedicated international team of volunteers of OAPS community. So this is really secure stuff. It's basically equivalent to Nessus and uh, so many more uh, uh, like a bulb suite as well. So it's really, really uh, a really powerful scanner, but free. That's very good, no? Don't you think so? So just check around. Make sure you select the best uh, download for your OS. So it can be for Windows 64 or 32-bit, Linux, Mac, you name it. So really make sure you go exactly what download you need. And also, don't forget to have a latest Java download. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of problem when you're installing it. But I'm going to take you through some part some stage of installation then you're gonna take it from there So once you install it, happy chappy, everything is ready. Now you got your window. Make sure you really tick the firewall. This is window firewall. You need to make sure that you really let it go. So now you got your dashboard. So again, take your time to go through it. Check exactly what's the latest update. If there is, then click on update. It's gonna update. Check it out, take your time, and once you understand that everything 
or go to some tutorial like mine or go to a lot on YouTube. Once you get what you are looking for, then you can try practicing. But again, there's a lot of options, there's automation and manual option. So you can actually kind of use it both time to time. Take your time to switch between tabs and understand exactly uh, all the feature about the OAP zap. So it's really, really easy scanner you can use for a beginner or even for a professional. But take your time, check it properly, and understand what is mean proxy and how what this uh, tool can help you as a, a cyber security professional. I let you check it out. If you find it so difficult, don't worry, in my next video, I'm really gonna take you through how to scan a website, how to uh, attack or check out a proxy using uh, this OAP zap. So don't worry about that, no panic, I'm there for you. That we say we're gonna finish our video which was how to install OAP zap scanner so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe like enjoy and share whatever you're gonna do about it <laughs> but bear in mind we got more video coming stay tuned bye bye